Welcome to the quiz from the Video Teach Project. This one is about creating videos for teaching and learning. Have you remembered the main points of the video course? Test yourself in this short quiz. Question number one. How was an animation created traditionally? Option A. By computer-generated imagery or CGI. Option B. Pictures are drawn or painted on transparent celluloid sheets to be photographed. Option C. Stitching images quickly. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option B. Cell animation is one of the most traditional forms of animation and involves objects, usually characters, being hand-drawn on clear celluloid sheets and placed over painted backgrounds. Question number two. In the movie, how many frames are used per second for fluid motion? Option A, 12. Option B, 24. Option C, 10. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option B. In the film, a frame rate of 24 frames per second is often used for smooth motion. Question number three. How many different types of animation are there? Option A. Traditional animation, rotoscoping, anime, and cutout. Option B. 3D animation, stop motion, and motion graphics. Option C. A and B are correct. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is C. These are all types of animation that exist. Question number four. Why with an animation the diagrams work better? Option A. The diagrams don't work better because they communicate better with images and fixed texts. Option B. Because the diagrams can move freely and express ideas and relationships that are much harder to communicate with still images or text. Option C. The diagrams don't work better because they create more confusion. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is B. The support of animations and diagrams helps to better understand the information with more visual impulses. Question number five. Would you have the ability to change things even late in the project with animations? Option A. Yes, sure. Option B. Yes, but with extra expenses. Option C. No. Now you have about 15 seconds to think about your answer. The correct answer is option A. Animation allows you to maximize the potential of your storytelling by providing a level of attention to detail and visual nuance that is much harder to execute in live action productions. Congratulations! This is the end of the quiz about creating videos for teaching and learning. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you like it, you can try another one from the Video Teach Project. Thank you very much for going through the quiz with us. You can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project at videoteach.u. All the content of the Video Teach Project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.